Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to calculate a Z-score for a particular data set in Microsoft Excel. A Z-score, also known as a standard score, is a statistical measure that tells you how many standard deviations a particular data point is away from the mean. You can see the formula for calculating the Z-score on your screen, where X means the data point you want to calculate the Z-score for, mu means the average of the data set, and this epsilon naught sign actually shows the standard deviation of the data set. Now, let's calculate the Z-score for the number of marks obtained by these students in their recent exam. Let's do it. But before calculating the Z-scores, as we have seen in the formula, we need to know the average and standard deviation for this total marks. Let's calculate the average first is equal average. Select the total scores close the bracket and enter and this is the average number of scores obtained by these students and similarly we can calculate the standard deviations as well let's put in is equal stadev again select the score close the bracket and enter and that is the standard deviation for this data set in order to calculate the z scores we use standardized function in microsoft excel Let's put that in is equal standardize and right over here you can see x. x mean any data point in your data set and right over here I will select this first one comma mean this is going to be our mean again comma standard deviation this is the standard deviation that we have just calculated close the bracket but before pressing the enter key, we must make sure that the average as well as the standard deviation that we have set in this standardized function, we need to fix them. And you can simply put your cursor just behind this H, which represents average, and press F4 on your keyboard. Now, these dollar sign means this value would remain constant and it would not change as we go down in a table. Similarly, we need to make the standard deviation fix as well again press f4 or if you are using a laptop you can press fn and f4 together let's press enter and there we are now simply drag down to copy the formula to the rest of the cells and there you go you can see these are the z scores for this data set a positive z score over here indicates that the data point is above the mean while a negative z score suggests it is below the mean and if there are no signs or somehow we remove these negative or positive signs, this makes the magnitude the absolute one. And the absolute value of Z-score tells you how many standard deviations the data point is away from the mean. A larger absolute Z-score implies a greater deviation from the mean. Z-score actually allows us to compare data points from different data sets with different scales and distributions. By converting data into Z-score, we can make meaningful comparisons in a data set. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.